welcome to Investors Hangout. This weekly interaction to help you learn and understand savings and investment issues is brought to you by Aditya Birla Sun Life Mutual Fund and Value Research. Now, do you have too many mutual fund schemes in your portfolio? Are you wondering what to do with them? Well, watch today's episode. For today, we'll give you a step-by-step -step guide to restructuring your portfolio. Stay tuned. Because we like story, because investors like stories and uh, different new funds are launched at different period of time, at different point of time and being sold as a story and because mutual fund is a consumer product and when the story is told that uh, this is what this fund will do and this is how you know it will make money and this is the special time when it is very opportune to be investing in that time people buy into that i i won't say people fall for it because many times it works many a times it doesn't work but most investors needs are better fulfilled by following the basic principles which value research keeps re-emphasizing that diversify own few funds keep it simple be regular with your investments those are more important not buying different kind of funds, but as a result of different stories being told in a compelling way and building a compelling case at different point of time, that actually attracts more people to new funds. And that is why most investors end up being a collector than being an investor. How many funds should you have? It entirely depends. It entirely depends on the scale, the comfort but i would say that for most investors even if your investor is getting scaled up to you know few crores and it's a long-term portfolio most investors the need for fair diversification adequate diversification and diversification whereby your investment will achieve multiple skills all the segments of the market uh, can be achieved with four or five funds and uh, for many investors, it might not be practical for them to have four or five funds. Maybe just one could be good enough. Uh, you know, if somebody is getting started and getting started with his 2,500 rupee SIP, you don't need to think beyond one fund and that should be an aggressive hybrid fund. That will get you the exposure to equity, fixed income. The equity segment will be, expo you know, should be invested in all segments of the market, possibly even uh, some international allocation so that in a, a you know in a single fund you are able to achieve all your objectives and so you will not be deprived of anything so it varies it depends how much is too much i would say for most normal investor investing if there is scale of investment goes up to few crore i think reasonable diversification uh, and exposure to all skills can be achieved with four to five funds The problem of having too many funds is that you don't know what you own. And there is a great possibility that if you own, if you are a collector of mutual funds, then you will end up with, you know, a variety of funds. And if you have 10, 15 funds, then the underlying portfolio will mean that you are, you are, you are owning an index fund and you are bearing the cost of an actively managed fund. So that is one disadvantage. The other is that, you know, once you have more, you know, too many funds, you are not interested in all of them and you are mentally able to justify when something does very poorly and you feel happy when something does very well and uh, both of it, both of it is unjustified you should have a position in a fund because the one fund itself can get you meaningful diversification you should have a very strong case for having another one and then you should have an even stronger case for having the third one or the fourth one but if you have multiple funds, then you become, in, you know, you feel happy or sad depending on their performance and uh, you don't act, you don't look at things very closely. So you will, you will be interested when you have some sizable stake. If 20% of your money is invested in one fund, you will be interested, you will be worried, you will, you will, you will feel happy for a, re for a good reason. Because if 20% of your money has done exceedingly well, you will uh, you you will ask question you will ask, so so basically you will be interested uh so it is simply more you know it is wise to be investing in few funds not too many because you will be getting the benefit of active management you will be interested you can achieve fair diversification with simplicity 
people do end up owning multiple mutual funds. Many mutual funds are the result of interesting stories being told to them. In 5, 7 years, 10 years, you end up collecting 10, 15, 20 of them. And how do you reorganize it? And this is, and uh, because people end up with those many funds, this is a frequently asked question on value search online. I would say that uh, the simplest way of doing it is look for the, your best performers and see if they are you know they, they have broad mandate they are supposed they are expected to be diversified fund and they are diversified fund pick your top three or top four and sell the rest consolidate all your money in the diversified fund that you own which have done well and uh, so better performing fund which are diversified consolidate your money from the remaining the second way of doing it is that you know choose a good flexi cap multi cap fund and uh, first and foremost get rid of the fund which are consistent underperformer ever since you have bought they have done poorly in a falling market done uh, poorly in a rising market compared to other funds and if any fund has not beaten the benchmark over the last five years it, it is worth getting up getting ejected from your uh, investment portfolio so get rid of the losers uh, load your winners if they are diversified otherwise add few funds and then consolidate your investments in them make sure that you know you have at least uh, at most you know four to five funds and think a lot think harder ask serious question if you are going to add a sixth one you must have a compelling reason for adding the sixth fund while reorganizing your portfolio you should be conscious of two things one is the capital gains tax every time you sell a fund and you buy a new one uh, the gains that have accrued on the previous fund the gains will get reduced 10 percent is the, your capital gains tax liability the long-term capital gains tax liability if the investment is short you know less than one year old then it is 15 percent short-term capital gains tax the other thing which you have to be conscious of that some funds most equity funds do levy a uh, exit load exit load is that if you sell your investment before one year or before two years a certain percentage of your money will be deducted so your money gets reduced so that is almost like a tax so be conscious figure out your exit load figure out your capital gains tax and then comes you know how to go about doing it many investors often ask us that you know uh, because value research always propose you know encouraging or telling that the best way to invest in equity fund is by way of SIP. So once you redeem your investments, once you sell your investment, should you do your SIP or do your lump sum? Switch your investments from other funds for consolidation or for cleaning up in a lump sum. Why you should do it? Because the whole idea of doing your SIP is that you eliminate the risk of catching a market high. And because you have already invested in the market, you have already exposed to the market and uh, you have gotten used to the ups and downs, you will not be very upset. All I suggest you remember is that uh, don't get you know, mentally uh, anchored to the value because what happens is if you realize from multiple investment, if you are able to consolidate all of it and you have 5 lakh rupees and this 5 lakh rupee that has become is a result of many investment done over the last four or five years in many many funds and today if you take that all that money out consolidate into your bank account and then invest five lakh rupees you will start watching it very closely and this if this four lakh five lakh rupees becomes four lakh fifty thousand rupees which is a ten percent decline you will be greatly upset but if your other investment which was spread over 15 funds if it would have gone down by ten percent you would not have been upset this is called anchorage you know getting anchored to a large amount don't get anchored to it this is the this is the equity volatility that you will if you are a long term investor you have to get used to it and the only thing that is happening is that your portfolio is getting cleaned up it's getting reorganized you will become interested and from here on uh, don't just don't get anchored to the you know a nice round number uh, which you would have gotten consolidated that's about it well, that's it we have for you in today's episode. Keep watching this space for more information. And if you like the show, do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Keep watching. Take care. Bye for now.